all over the world, people come up to me and say how much they have enjoyed my book. They may not have understood it all. If they did, they would be ready to start a PhD in theoretical physics. Persistent in his pursuit of knowledge, Stephen Hawking has unlocked new pathways of discovery and inspired people around the world. I didn't do my scientific work in the hope of winning prizes and medals. I did it because I wanted to understand the universe. There's nothing like the thrill when you discover something no one knew before. I hope I will be remembered for my work on black holes and the origin of the universe, not for things like appearing on The Simpsons. Although my body is very limited, my mind is free to explore the universe. There are no limits to the human spirit. MND is no barrier to thinking, achieving, and getting on with life. We just have to find new ways of doing things. After my expectations had been reduced to zero, every new day became a bonus, and I began to appreciate everything I did have. While well, there is life, there is hope. Being on a ventilator has not curbed my lifestyle. Since going on a ventilator full time, I have been to Brussels, the Isle of Man, Geneva, Canada, California twice, and I hope to go into space with Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. <laughs> the Zero-G flight I did last year was wonderful. After 40 years in a wheelchair, it was so good to be floating free. I don't think the human race has a moral obligation to learn about space, but it would be foolish and short-sighted not to do so. It may hold the key to our survival. I see great dangers for the human race. There have been a number of times in the past when its survival has been a question of touch and go. I think global warming is a greater threat than terrorism. Climate change could kill millions. We should have a war on global warming, rather than a war on terror. Religion has been a force for evil throughout history. Religion is supposed to make people behave for fear of the hereafter, but this doesn't seem to have deterred people in the past. I think the conventional afterlife it's a fairy tale for people afraid of the dark. One can't prove that there wasn't a creator. All one can do is offer a more reasonable explanation, based on science. Ever since the Greeks, we have managed to explain what previously seemed acts of God, in terms of scientific laws. I believe what makes us unique is transcending our limits. I lost my voice but I can still speak thanks to my voice synthesizer. How do we transcend these limits? With our minds and our machines. At one point, I thought I would see the end of physics as we know it, but now I think the wonder of discovery will continue long after I am gone.